wait, 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 wait a second. Sneaky. Not until we're married. Spinelli, I thought this whole courtly love thing went out the window as soon as I opened my... my arms and heart and agreed to marry you. My... my heart and body yearn for you as never before. I just... I don't know, I think it would be special to refrain from knowing each other in the biblical sense until our wedding night. But we've already known each other in the biblical sense and every other sense, if you remember. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, but that this specific period of, of sacrifice and, and denial will lend even more meaning to our vows that day. Are you sure that's what you want? Whoa. Well, Want is a is a relative term because my immediate desires are in direct conflict with my desire to fully honor our lifetime commitment and journey. That is the um, that spiritual component. But I won't feel dishonored. Mm, no one has to know. You know, my commitment is steadfast. Unwavering. And what do you want? Right now? Right now. To be hermetically sealed in sheet metal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, my greatest wish is that our nuptials be a perfect expression of our love. Mm, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Express my love. I, I, I mean... Like on a spiritual plane, spiritual love. Oh, you have something against physical love? No. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Spinelli, I know you've built up this whole thing in your mind, but maybe, maybe you don't need to be so rigid about it. Maybe the important thing is to focus on us, not details or dates. Don't you jump what what are we? Uh greetings. Look, Rodney I wanted to have a private conversation about You spent the night here? Oh yeah, of course I did. I'm engaged. I can't believe you would come all the way over here to check up on me. I didn't even know you were here, all right? I came to talk to Spinelli. Yeah, and I, I would be happy to, to meet you at any, any, any place to discuss... Oh, don't even want. think about it. You can't come over here and lay some massive guilt trip on Spinelli about what he does for a living or how he's not good enough for me. He's not good enough for you. I knew it. You were going to try to manipulate Spinelli into breaking off our engagement to stop us from getting married? To stop you from making the biggest mistake of your life. And God knows that's saying a lot. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I have to object to the tone. You know, I object to you breathing the same air as my daughter, much less marrying her. And don't tell me Jason protects his own, okay? After what happened to Michael, getting shot, spending a year of his life in a coma, and now he's on the run. Maxie, you'll be in danger every minute of every day of your life. Yeah? Well, I'm not scared. And you're forgetting the most important part. I love Spinelli. He's always believed in me. He's always been there for me. Been faithful. You want faithful? Get a golden retriever, all right? You're not marrying this guy. Yeah, I am marrying this guy. And there's nothing that you or anyone else can do to stop me. Mac was so out of line. I mean, I know he loves me and wants to protect me, but there's no excuse for talking to you like that. Well, I'm still a little stung by the proud patriarch's words and... Thank you. I, I take no joy in, in witnessing you argue with the father figure you love so much, but I gotta say, my heart soared when I when I heard how fiercely determined you are to marry me. Really? Yeah. I think at times maybe I've worried that you're a bit of a reluctant bride, so to hear you defend our nuptial intentions with such passion, it, I just know that you want this marriage as much as I do. 